write the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of a valid proposition and determine their validity. So I've started with this proposition here. If an animal is a dog, then it has four legs. So let's take a look at the first one is a converse. So if an animal is a dog, then it has four legs. The converse of that would be as follows. If an animal has four legs, then it is a dog. So if you notice, we take what's in the if part and what's in the then part and you flip-flop it. You switch those and that is how we get the converse. So we switch the if and the then parts. And the second part to this is deciding whether or not this is valid. So if we pay attention to this statement right here, the converse, and we have to think about it. if an animal has four legs, then it's a dog. Well, is there what we call a counter example that would prove this statement wrong? And I think the answer to that would be yes, because I could think of lots of animals that have four legs, like a raccoon has four legs. Well, a raccoon is certainly not a dog. So the question is, if this is valid, I would say no. The next statement is the inverse. All right, so if an animal is a dog, then it has four legs. Well, the inverse of that would be if an animal is not a dog, then it does not have four legs. So all we really have to do is take the original statement just as it is right here and we add not. So we make both parts, the if and the then, negative and that's well, how you write the inverse. And so if we take a look at our second question, is this valid or not? And the way we determine that is, is we think about if there is a counter example that would prove this statement wrong. So if an animal is not a dog, so think of an animal that's not a dog, say a cat. A cat's an animal and it's not a dog. Then it does not have four legs. Well, I'm sorry, but that would be incorrect because a cat is not a dog but a cat does have four legs. So is this valid? I'm sorry, I, I don't believe that it would be. All right, move on to the next one. That would be the contrapositive. If an animal's a dog, then it has four legs. The contrapositive of that, I notice that, let's see, if, if it, an animal does not have four legs, then it is not a dog. So I notice that uh, if you compare it to the original statement, you should notice that it is awfully similar to the converse. but you also add in the, the nots. So you have to make the if and the then of the converse negative. All right, so if you can write the converse of a statement, then you should be able to write the contrapositive of a statement. So the second question is, is this valid? If an animal does not have four legs, so think of an animal that doesn't have four legs. Uh, birds do not have four legs. Then it is not a dog. So I'm trying to think of a counterexample. So is there any other counterexample that would prove that this statement is valid or not? 
If an animal does not have four legs, then it is not a dog. Let's see, a kangaroo does not have four legs, so, and that is not a dog. So, just to my quick thinking here, I'm not able to come up with a counterexample, so I would say that this is, in fact, valid. All right, so we've talked about writing the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of a statement. So let's take a look at all four of them together. So here's my original statement. If an animal is a dog, then it has four legs. Here is the converse. If an animal has four legs, then it is a dog. Remember, you flip-flop or switch the if and then parts. Here's the inverse, and if an animal is not a dog, then it does not have four legs. So that looks very similar to the original proposition with the nots put in there, making the if and the then negative. And the contrapositive is closely related to the converse with the addition of not, not. So if an animal does not have four legs, then it is not a dog.